Okay. Are we ready? Firewatch. Firewatch is the new, uh, the, the new thing. The new story heavy, atmospheric, emotional indie game. I, I would not use that last word. You didn't, you didn't think so? to make what is it um look i was i was drunk last night when i welcomed you to the job i i I've, I've heard it compared to a lot of like survival horror games where it's more like a story driven walking simulator uh and walking simulator it sure is well let's let's let's, 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 let's break it down into parts okay uh let's let's talk about the gameplay okay there is exactly one gameplay element to the game. And that is find your way to the thing. You get a map and 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 you know you're talking on the radio to your lady friend and your lady says, "Hey, you have to go to the lake." And so you have to look at your map and use your compass to find your way to the lake. It's in the genre of uh shoot uh, plat, uh, uh, choose your own, no, um, survive, no, shoot them up? <laughs> the, the, there's no, there's, they finally made a game without a genre. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's. <laughs> Uh, if, if if you had to nail it down t to a, a gameplay, I would I would call it like an exploration game. No, <laughs> I wouldn't call it an exploration game. You don't think? You gotta... Ex exploration is they give you a huge open world mm -hmm. and you can go anywhere you want. In Firewatch, you have a series of tubes. No, no, it's not a, a series of tubes. Of tubes. You, you can go anywhere on the map. There's lots of lots of mountains that. that... Keep it's it's not that. a it's not a big map. There's 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 lots of like like the only real gameplay yeah that's not story related is you see a log and then the button comes up that tells you you can hit the the do things button to jump yeah. over the log yeah and then you see some other log and then you walk up to that that doesn't have the button and it's the same height but you can't jump over that log. There's areas you can't go. Yeah. There's, there's tubes. You look at the map and you see the red lines that tell you the trails and where you can go. It's not an exploration game. You're not exploring. You can explore. I'm gonna defend it here. You can explore. You can go anywhere in the map. Except for the areas that are blocked off. Story-wise, you can get there. There are some Metroid-y like things where you need a specific tool to get into a specific area. Still, I'd call it exploration. Then it's it's bad exploration. It's it's not it's I, I'm just it's I'm bad, trying to nail it's down. Bad exploration. You know what the you know what the <laughs> most pesky thing about making a game is the gameplay. Just make a map. We'll have people talk. Just, just, just design all the things that look nice. That's what I like doing. Here's... We'll do that. <laughs> what do you do in this area? I don't know. I don't know. Just walk. Did, just walk. Did you turn... There's a couple options that I feel is really important for the enjoyment of this game. Mm -hmm. Did you turn the locator off? 
Was there a locator? You, on your map, there was a little thing that like showed you where you were. No, I don't know you turned that off. A really poor choice on the developer's part. Uh, by default, your locator is on. Yeah. And as soon as I saw that, that wasn't the game I wanted to play, and I, I went into the menu, and you can turn that locator off. I would have hated that more. That's what made the game fun for me. Because, uh, spoiler alert, I really liked this game. Like, a lot. And uh, so walking through the woods, following the map, and using your compass without the magic you are here GPS is what made it a good experience for me. Because if you don't have that and you have the locator, then there's no game. But the game for me was find the place you need to go on the map. Here's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. I hated the game! <laughs> I like the story. Here's the problem when you talk about getting lost, all right? Yeah. When you're, when you're making a movie yeah. and you're editing, mm -hmm. what do you do? What are you doing when you're editing? Well, yeah, yeah. What's your goal in editing? Tell a complete story while trimming the fat. And, trimming the fat. Yeah. You're trimming the You want that fat gone. Yeah. You want a clean, efficiently told story where you're not fucking around and every moment of that story has a purpose that leads into the next purpose. Sure. And there's always something interesting and engaging happening during your story. Yes. Firewatch yeah. is a good story with shit pacing. Because you, and if you're telling a fucking story, you don't want 20 minutes of walking through the woods to get to the next story bit. You want that story to flow. And, and the story is not flowing, I, ever. I disagree with you. Mm -hmm. The overarching theme of the game is distancing yourself and loneliness. And so you spend the majority of the game alone in silence, and I thought that was really powerful. It's about exploring this character who has isolated himself from the people he loves and how he feels, and it does a really great job of, of emphasizing loneliness through the gameplay. I, I refuse to use the word gameplay. I refuse to. Like, Soma. You Soma. played Soma. Yeah. Wonderful science fiction story. I loved all of the story elements. Yeah. I, I, I love the science fiction aspect. Mm -hmm. I love the philosophical argument about is the copy still legitimately you and what is you? That's some great shit. Yeah. A horrible pacing for a story because you're just walking. Agreed. For 30 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. But at least they had the facade of gameplay. There's a, no. there's a monster, hide from the monster. At that, least there was a facade. No, and that facade is what pisses me off in games. Because it's that facade in which they try to shove gameplay into an interesting story where it doesn't belong. Firewatch does us the service of saying, hey, our game is about loneliness. You're going to feel alone, and that's it. <laughs> it's, they've simplified the gameplay to match the story. Instead of shoving, oh, now you gotta, uh, you got to do a puzzle to open up the door. Why? Because it's a game, you need that. Fuck that. Here's, here's my counter argument. Sure. You don't need the facade. You don't need the facade. You don't need the facade. But if you don't have the facade, and no. you don't have any gameplay, don't make a game. Make a movie, or write a book. <laughs> there, or do a radio play. The gameplay... Or do a stage play. ...is in the exploration. It's not gameplay. That's gameplay. That's walking around. Y yes. You're walking around in the woods, you gotta find your way around in the woods. Do... Write a, write a story, write a book, make a movie, and pace it properly. Maybe it's just because I spent, as a kid, so much time walking through the woods, and it brought back that kind of nostalgic memory to me. Just walk through the woods! <laughs> walk through the woods, and then, no, 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 don't walk through the woods. Walk to the movie theater and watch a very well-paced hour and a half movie about a lonely man hmm. with, a, with a sick wife who meets this other woman who he kind of gets along really well with, and yeah. there's this other mystery that's going on along with their relationship, but it's paced really good, and it's a, it's a solid hour and a half of just pure storytelling. And then, you know what? After the movie, you walk home. This was a, I, I felt this was a solid five hours. 
Every part of this game had me engaged in it. I loved finding my way around the woods. Every part where somebody wasn't talking, I was annoyed because I had to try and walk and find the next base where somebody would start talking. You're an insane person, that was great. No. The woods, the woods were beautiful. The woods, it was, a, it was no. beautiful, it was no. desolate. It no. felt great, you never knew when no. you were gonna see something that added to the mystery. It was so much fun. It was a beautiful tube you couldn't deviate that far off you the trail You could go of... anywhere you wanted. <laughs> you wanna go over there, you go over there. You wanna go over there, you go over there. <sighs> crazy, it was great. You're, you're insane. It was great. You're an insane, crazy man. It's true. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. Here's, here's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You can have a great story in a game. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna argue against that. Right. I'm just saying it is necessary that you also have a good game component before I'm gonna call it a good game. And I think, I, I, I think you're just getting too caught up on what a game is. I'm getting caught up <laughs> on a story, because yeah. it is a story yes. that has shit pacing because you're walking around the woods for hours, but what could have been a very tight one hour story or short story, it could have been really tight, good story is now ruined by horrible pacing. And I mean, you're wrong and that's fine that you're wrong. <laughs> Be, and you know, no, because you know what, we're all, we're all wrong every once in a while. It's the walking around in the woods alone informs the character. You need those long stretches of loneliness in order to feel what the character is feeling. It wouldn't work as a movie. Because in a movie, you couldn't have someone walk alone for you, 20 minutes. You don't need that. You need one scene that's kind of ponderous. Then it doesn't have the weight. Oh. This, so. You are full of shit today, Jack. I am not. You are full of shit. I am not. I'll be positive. I'll be really positive. Yeah. I love all of the characters. Mm -hmm. You get this nice character. They're great characters. Great characters, great characters. And by the way, amazing voice actors. Yes. Both your guy and Delilah. I loved hearing them. Henry, Henry. the guy. And when you have such a story heavy game and such a dialogue heavy game, like getting your voice actors on fleck, as the kids say, is really important. That's, it's something that the kids say. They're not gonna say it anymore, because I said it. Sure. I love your main character. I love that he's not a perfect person. I love that he's flawed. Yep. I love that he could be, he's getting a little bit selfish. I, <laughs> I, 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 I love the fact that the storytelling didn't have its fucking head shoved up its ass. These are fairly real, believable characters with a sense of humor. Very but, grounded story. Very, very grounded story. I, I, oh. I like Delilah. I like that she's not this, this perfect, unattainable princess <laughs> on, a, on a pedestal who has no flaws. Yeah. She's, she's a pretty flawed character. She does stupid things. She does wrong things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the, the mystery that was going on and the paranoia that was creeping in. Yeah. Up, like, you know, a lot of the story is picked up through what Delilah says, but there is several key parts of the story that you just stumble across. You know, like if you read all of the, you, you, you have uh, these like boxes that you get equipment from. Mm -hmm. And if you read all the little stuff in the boxes, it just it creates a very solid world. And I loved it. Oh yeah, a great, great story. Great, great characters. Great story. No game. It's you, you ex exploration. No game. You explore the woods. No game. You walk around the woods. No game. You have to find your way through the woods. No game. That's it's it's a light game. No game. <laughs> but it's no game for you because your your guy locator was on. Is <laughs> that? 
So, a, a, a quick note to the developer, uh, your guy locator needs to be off by default. That is incredibly important to the game. Also your music. I just didn't like the cues because then, you know, you're like you're walking through the woods and experience the loneliness and all of a sudden you hear like classical jazz guitar and it just takes you right out of the moment. So, you know, a quick tip for anyone who's thinking about playing Firewatch. Music all the way down, turn off the You Are Here locator. It'll make the experience much more enjoyable. Rich? 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 So, uh, at, at, like, as it turns out, completely surprising myself, I wholeheartedly, um, endorse Firewatch. I, I really recommend it. Of course, turn your music all the way down, turn your locator off, and you, it, it's a really uh, engaging story, and, and I thought the, the, the pacing was, was perfect. Uh, Rich, would you recommend Firewatch? Rich! Would you recommend Firewatch? I think that's a no. I think, I think that's a no. No? No? Well, fuck you too!